Hey guys, DJ Gaming here back some more Donkey Kong Country Returns. Alright, so in our last episode, we got to go to Crumble Canyon, and we were going to fight the boss, but again, this game tricked us and showed us that we have two more levels to do. So we're going to continue the last of those two levels with Clip Top Climb. Definitely going to be a fun climb. <laughs> oh, man. Such a headache. Such headaches this game gives me sometimes. Yeah, just screw it. We're going to skip that. So, right as we begin off the level, we have a little gong, gong here. Okay, I want that banana coin. Dear God. Those are big heads. That's what she said. <laughs> you know, I'm going to start having a that's what she said counter for my certain let's plays or something so we got more flowers here and yeah some more flowers so as you see down there you got a bunch of bananas which will lead us to another bonus area so see you guys when we're done yeah one freaking banana one freaking banana why is it that every time we do something like that it always ends off with one so as you can see here shit's already falling apart in fact I'm pretty sure that's the theme of this level is just shit falling apart so yeah I remember that we want to go over here so then we can climb up on top of here and get our next puzzle piece two of five wait a second Oh yeah, it would be three or five. Never mind, I, I was wrong. I admit it, I was wrong. I was wrong. At least we're still gonna get all the Kong letters for this. I will not leave one Kong letter behind, otherwise I will cease to exist. So yeah, with perfect timing. Oh, did okay. Thank God. So yeah, the only barrels that we have here are those death ones, the ones with the crossbones and whatnot, just because it... No! Shoot! Uh, we'll see you guys up there. Alright, so we're back here and, well, try not to die. You know, the usual, the usual d life of Donkey Kong... And to think I could have landed on that platform and just been safe. Well, that's too complicated for me. Ah, oh, that was kind of cool. But yeah, we're just gonna, yeah, we're just gonna continue it right here just because of that kind of cool little thing. That was actually really cool, though. So yeah, sc screw your body. <laughs> oh lord. <laughs> Alright, so yes, we finally got that and the thing just snapped and we were just right there a few seconds ago. It's that kind of shit that just scares the bejesus out of you. Now these barrels take some pretty precise timing. Well, maybe not these ones, but the ones coming up will. Just you wait. One... One quick move and then BAM! Power of the kisser. <laughs> no, shoot! Now you can see what I mean by power at the kisser. See you guys up there. Power at your mom! Ah, oh, I hurt inside. Alright, so we are back here. And we are doing our best not to fail. But failing at failing. And no, that is not a double negative. And we got a heart that we didn't need, but we'll take it. We'll take it. So yeah, this is the stuff that needs the precise timing. So you shoot yourself up there, and then you get the next puzzle piece. And we missed one, but you know what? We are just going to go right the hell ahead and get that life. Wow, just because we want to. Like I said, I'm not leaving any K-O-N-G letter behind. That's good enough for me, and it should be good enough for you, too. Selfish bastards. 
So, all right. Now we're gonna go ahead and go on to Thugly's high rise. Thugly. Hmm. Doesn't that name sound familiar in any way whatsoever? I know it does to me. So as you can see, we have a pretty nice backdrop back here. Oh, uh, a little fun fact for you. If you guys are in two-player mode and, uh, you shoot yourself out of that cannon, oh, and then if the second player shakes his Wii remote while they're in the air, Diddy will, like, shoot his peanut pop gun. It's pretty cool. But, yeah. So, as you can see, this boss is exactly like Mugly. Just a an ugly fat ass eating our bananas, except this guy's got armor and is even uglier. And is actually a little bit more menacing. So you can see pretty much the exact same. Except he's got like firepower. Everybody knows what that references. And well he does that. He's he's got a few extra things that Mugly that Mugly didn't have, but you know, not too much. Hey, no, hey, wait, listen, I was talking about you. Don't. As you can see, he does. He's got his own specific little pattern, kind of like Mugly. Only Mugly's wasn't as easy to see. Ouch! Well. So yeah, he does the exact same thing pretty much. He's got the orange phase, but then after each color phase, we'll go down a level. Now see kids, that's what smoking does to you. Do you know how much the cigarette companies would make if, they, if kids saw that that's what smoking does to you? The kids would be like, whoa daddy, I want to breathe fire too. Get away from me. Bat to the ass. Yeah, it's pretty repetitive. Not much to say for this guy. Not much to say at all. Except he body slams like a sumo wrestler. Duck. Same routine. Heart get. There goes Roaring. And the Red Phase! Just like... Just exactly like Mugly. I'm telling you, I mean... I would have rather seen a more creative boss, in full honesty, for... Yep, here's another attack. He's got fireballs that split into more fireballs and whatnot. Because we all know how Mugly likes his balls. Shit. Alright, so at least he went at us a second time so he can redeem ourselves. But yes, I mean, I wish that they would have been a little more creative on the boss. I mean, they could have done like a giant rock chunk like Sorbetti in Super Mario Galaxy 2. And I didn't get that, did I? I did not get that. I'm gonna be close to him and then roll the hell out of there. As you can see, those waves come at you a lot faster now, just because he's freaking red. Back to the fireball phase. He tried to hit us, but he failed. We will finish this with Diddy. So, more fire, more smoking, more money for the cigarette companies. And, hey. Badass. Die! Haha! <laughs> As you see, that blow to his stomach wasn't good, and dude. Alright, maybe if kids saw what smoking does to your tongue, like this guy, maybe they wouldn't be so put on the smoking idea. Alright, so that session wasn't the best, but you know. I just really don't have anything to say for this guy. But we're just going to end it off right there. I think that this is a good video for now. Just just uh, a good few short videos for the cliff. 
I don't want to put like too many videos. I'm just going to end it off with the boss here. So yeah, I see a little transition effect. So in our next episode, we will go ahead and go with the factory. See you guys until then.